What is up my pandas and welcome to a lovely Red Dead Redemption 2 online beta video. I am joined with my sister here. Hi. And she's gonna critic me and how One I designed my character. <laughs> so we're gonna go with the girl of course. Oh. <laughs> what is that makeup? It's like, it looks like she got sunburned. <laughs> it looks like she just smeared on blush. What am I gonna name her? <laughs> I should just name her the same as my GTA character. Appearance. Oh. <laughs> That's a beautiful head shape. Oh. <laughs> I thought it could get worse. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, that that's me. you ain't leaving us anytime soon. Oh lord. It kind of looks like that that's kind of a pretty face. Number yeah. 7. We'll continue to look. We're gonna need a fair <coughs> Nine's not bad, but 7 is better. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think 7's seven. the best. Tell me everything um, except that you're innocent. I'd find that hard to believe. We're gonna leave it that color. Age 35! Oh no. I can make him 18. I'm 20, so we're gonna Quite go 20. We'll have on <laughs> Skinny, athletic, average, heavy. heavy. Yeah, no. <laughs> Bro. Uh, brody. <laughs> Damn, girl, you thick. Thick as fuck. I'm just gonna go You're average. Lucky you were caught, you know. The way the town feels about what happened. <laughs> That's <fine. laughs> <laughs> Go frown. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm so shocked. Neutral. It's a process all Narrow. Right, a Broad. One. Okay, so this is the one that it was at. I would say neutral. Yeah. Nose neutral. Which one? Neutral or thin? Uh, can you turn to the side? Um. Rotate. Yeah, that looks okay, fine. Okay, then. That's thin. This is neutral. Uh, thin looks better. Okay. Smoocher. Smoocher or neutral? Mm. I think smoocher. Yeah. Chin, neutral, wide. Narrow doesn't look bad. No. Neutral? This is neutral. And this is narrow. Go with narrow. Okay, doke. Ears. Goofy. <laughs> you can't see them, so I'm just gonna go just with go neutral. neutral. Yeah. Cheeks. So here's the full, cheekies, and here's the neutral. I'd probably go with full. Yeah, it kind of it makes her face look a little better. Teeth. Oh, oh. <laughs> girl. <laughs> They need some toothpaste and a uh, toothbrush. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, no. What cigarettes have you been smoking? <laughs> oh. uh. <laughs> the yokel. I say the chompers. Yeah, those are the better looking ones. Hair. Oh, that hair doesn't look bad on her. That's like my hair, but my hair's longer. <laughs> More curly. Oh, the pigtails look adorable on her. Aww. Kinky! <laughs> Those are cute. I honestly would go with either combed layers. What do you think looks better? Combed layers or pigtails? Mm, I'd say combed layers covers up most of her face, so it hides her. <laughs> it hides her complexion. Yeah. This is my hair color, so I don't need to worry about that. Lifestyle. What is this doing? Oh, oh I yeah. see it in the back. I think. Use L. 
I don't know what. Oh, it's fine tune. Like your complexion of your skin. Yes, thank you. See? I see it. So if I were to go like this, I can't. I'll just keep it six. Yeah, see the reds? Mm -hmm. She's and too she white. Freckles? I don't have freckles. But you don't. You don't need to add freckles. Yeah, it, it makes it look weird. Moles? I don't have moles on my face. Can you just have blood? <laughs> One by the eye. <laughs> well, she looks better. Makeup, none. Oh, so that looks a lot better. Mm -hmm. I would give her a little bit of foundation at least. Thick. <laughs> yes, give her the brightest color. <laughs> what do you think? The red or the pink? Pink and I wouldn't have her lipstick lined. Whistle. You can pick your whistle styles. I know you can. Say number two. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So <laughs> Attributes. <laughs> Her. I'd say, I don't know, what do you think is more important? Stamina? Stamina and health. But you can only do one. Well, you have two points. You have one in health and one in stamina. And we going to confirm. Okay, let's get a photograph. Bring your hands up onto your chest. Annika. She looks really pretty. Yeah, she does. She doesn't look bad. She looks prettier than my GTA character. <laughs> <laughs> Some months later. Sissica Penitentiary Female Wing. Officer Jackson, move those prisoners. Officer Benton, kitchens aid staff. Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves. What are you standing there for? Get moving. What are you looking at? Go on, get moving. You, you, you with the hammer, and you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out in Rhodes. Come on, get in. Ooh, this is where we escape. Open the gate. Come on, Milliken. Yeah! Red did online. Oh, by the way, my sister had to leave. I'm sure you heard her. She has to go upstairs, so... I don't know if she'll be joining us again or not. I tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, and no mistake. You lot stay calm in there. We weren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. You know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, I'm against education. Of women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary. Doesn't add much to the world. Education. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Oh. Don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools, and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. 
Let him out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. They're kidnapping Use me. Milliken, be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Went, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was. Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, ma'am, how about you pick up these guns? And we move out. My mistress is waiting for us. Come along. Then you better get on this horse. Where are you, where are you taking me, sir? It's not much of an animal, but I haven't got far to ride. Get on the horse there. Ready? Wonderful. Where are we going, sir? I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Six months at Sissica Penitentiary, awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit. Must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks has left you entirely broken in body or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Rounding you folks up in those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. Still can't quite believe they got away with it. There's others convicted when you were. Came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that too. Guess we'll see. Maybe you just want to put it all behind you. Forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course. You're just up here. There's the camp. Hit your horse. Yes, sir. Come on, hitch up. Um, horse, okay. This way. She's anxious to meet you. <clears throat> Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica Leclerc, how do you do? What did you tell her? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. <sighs> anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where are my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. So a few other items you might need, a lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. All right, time to look at our stuff that we got. We could change the colors. Um, let's pick out like what we're going to wear first. Okay, there's the vest. Kind of like that. Um. I'll go with the black and see shirts. Don't need to worry. Weapon equipment. Okay, hat. 
There we go. It doesn't seem to be that we can change our shirt color. Yeah. So we're just gonna wear that. Here we go. It's like, where's the boots? Let's go with that. Here we go. That looks more comfortable. Holly? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out and kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. See, you walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets, this was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death. All because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife. Society patroness, lover of the arts, crook. My former best friend, Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. Leclerc would like to help you get back on your feet, get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me. Just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye, for now. Then Hawley, go introduce her to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you better than most of his ilk. Cripps! Get up. Oh, hello, partner. Harley. <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. Leclerc is a generous benefactor. And uh, where are we headed? Sorry, I'm just a little bit of a germaphobe. Camp. Select camp location. Small camp. Okay, it looks like you can only choose this. Oh, and uh, madam, while Cripps is establishing your camp, perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good yes, luck. sirs. I really like how the online portion follows a storyline. It's pretty cool. I mean, I've heard about it, but I've never watched people play from the beginning, so I've only seen people, like, mess around and online, so that's pretty cool, to be honest. Oh boy, please stop. I'm here! You, uh, you must be a Horley's friend. He's one of us. 
He said you are also a discouraged creature. Now, I will be honest. I try not to talk too much to women. I, well, let's leave that. Alden, that's me. <laughs> but Corley insisted you was okay. I'm very discouraged, you see? Anyway, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Sort of. I find your reticence charming. Real charming. I heard well, you might want to earn a little extra money. Well, some gentlemen have been robbing our stages, and they are not part of the club, if you catch my meaning. If you can make them go away, I'm sure they will have something of interest to you. They're up at Blue Water Marsh. See what you can do, okay? Thank you, sir. Here, by the way, a catalog. The latest issue just came into this armpit from a land more civilized. And if things work out, well, my colleagues and I move around these stations as needed. And all of us are very discouraged. We will all help you with pertinent information, even if you are a lady. Okay, it's time to go up to Blue Water Marsh. That's not my horse. I do apologize, GTA. Or GTH in, in this case. <laughs> go to the bayou. And he is here. Search for the hideout. <laughs> Is like gonna be a building? Okay, oh, it's over here. Take out the outlaws. You got it. Boom! No, you ain't. Yeah, who the heck do you think you is? And what are you doing? Come out okay. right now. You're good. You're real good, friend. Here. Take this. It's a map. Just be kind. Don't kill me, please. I'll take it. I'll be nice. But if I see you later, you're dying. I was going to, but I can't do it. Can you calm down? I'm looting. Only eight cents. Scrawny Nag. That's the name of my horse. Well, it's probably the name of what it actually is. Okay, we gotta open our satchel. Look at the map. Search the area. Oh, it's over here. The gold. Oh, ability car. Okay. Gold bars can be used to purchase or unlock certain items. That's all I saw up there in the corner. You have discovered an ability card coupon. This can be redeemed to acquire your first ability card. Why? A moment to recuperate one. While Deadeye is active you slowly regenerate health taking any damage will cancel dead eye let's go meet clay davis here's clay oh <laughs> hold x to start matchmaking for other players first why to view mission details harley suggested you go to see clay davis a horse thief to learn the ins and outs of the horse rustling trade. Okay, let's start matchmaking. It's been a long time since I've actually played something physically like GTA related online. <laughs> I win again. <laughs> Did Horley send you, Pop? I'm Clay Davies. This is my brother, Clive. 
He don't talk. Maybe you two will get along better. <laughs> Maybe not. Listen, I heard you wanted to earn some money. So, there's a gang of ne'er-do-wells. They are a bunch of degenerates, not good people. They're out in roads with a bunch of horses they stole off of me. <laughs> well, that's a lie, but they stole them off a fella I was gonna steal them off of. <laughs> Maybe you could get them for me. You think you could do that for me, Pop? Oh, look. Here are your friends. Well, good. Meet me at the stable at San Denis once you have the horse flesh, and I'll pay you good. Oh, and Pop, Horley wanted me to remind you any decent work you can find, take it. But just try to stay out of trouble. Oh, and once you give me those horses, well, after that, we'll talk again. Oh, I do so enjoy these conversations. I'm used to them on account of my brother. Let's go, Clive. So cool. I could jump to his horse if I wanted to. <laughs> you don't need to be here. Go away. Teammate, I'm trying to shoot her. Gotcha. Okay, guys, we gotta steal a horse. Let's go. That saved me. Oh, it shot my horse. Oh! Go, go, girl, girl. Like shooting Some money you earn. Now listen, Horley came by and gave me a message. He said to go see your friend Cripps up at your camp. Now listen to me for a second. Any other decent horses you find, we'll buy them. Just as soon as we are set up, okay? Nice meeting you. You know what? Hold on, boy. I call him boy because I'm older. 30 minutes, he went black. <laughs> Let's give our friend here back the horse. It's yours. A sign of faith and future business. If you want to buy any extras or sundries for the animal, head inside. They've got a lot available. See you soon. <laughs> Come on, Clark. <Clyde. laughs> He's like, what the heck? <laughs> horse insurance? Good to you, miss. Rename my horse. What does he look like? Or she? What What gender? Male. She's ear. <laughs> We're going to call it side ear. <laughs> Appearance, mane, 
Let's go with regular. Okay. Can't really do nothing about the tail. Now we have to go meet Crips at my camp. How far away is my camp? It's not that far away. You're okay, girl, says Arthur. Oh, I thought that person was hanging in the tree. I'm like, what the? <laughs> That's cool, bro. I didn't ask. Your horse to automatically recover over time if it's critically injured. That's why I got insurance. So it's kind of like a car. Besides, your car can <laughs> I guess it can recover over time. <laughs> and here's my camp. Side ear. Yep. The harmonica. How do you get on with Clay Davies? Horrible little wretch, in my opinion. Pop this and pop that. I'd like to pop him, a slime bucket. <laughs> anyway, I've got everything set up. Well, uh, what we have so far, place is pretty nice. I, uh, Think you did a good job for you. I'll earn my keep. When you get too old to fight, what choice have you got? It's either work or beg, and I'd rather work. Oh, I saw Horley. Now, he wants you to come down and meet him in Blackwater when you get a chance. I think he might have some work for you. Oh, and uh, uh, while you're out on your travels, you may see some folk with uh, employment opportunities, good folk, bad folk looking for a tough guy with a gun to help him up to you, <clears throat> you i'm a girl <clears throat> to him, i guess uh, you know i i used to like that kind of stuff at one time i almost helped a clown steal an elephant <laughs> but that's a very silly story welcome home make yourself at home it is your home then you leave my home sir <laughs> I'm just kidding, he can stay. There's a general stores and tailors for supplies and clothing. Gunsmiths will sell and upgrade your weapons. You can actually sell them? Wow. Find and accept free roam missions from various characters. Or counter a rival player's mission for your own reward. Enter a series and complete against others by using a series marker or through the player menu. Form or join pose with other players and improve your chance of success in Red Dead Online. I don't know if that's the right word or not. Open player menu. Sidier and I are gonna head on out. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the first video of Red Dead Online. Plenty more to come. This is just a beta, so not full release yet. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Comment if you wish, and subscribe if you're new. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and peace out. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me.